So today we're gonna to be talking about how I'm going for one of the hardest achievements in the Division 2. I've accomplished a lot in this game. I've done all of the raids. I've actually completed each raid probably in the top five on console for both raids with my team. And I've pretty much completed every legendary in the game. I've done summit legendary. I've done every difficulty you can do. But I still think this right here is probably the hardest. And you guys might be looking at my character like, what do you mean? Starting a new character? No, a hardcore character. Look at that symbol right there. Yes, that means hardcore. And while I've tried this three times, my last time really hurting a lot because we had three exotics. And take a look at this clip right here. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. No! Ah, GG's, bro. Oh, my. I didn't think that dude was going to come out. And you see, we actually had watch level on that. We had three exotics. It really stung a little, and I almost gave up. And a lot of you guys might ask, well, what, what are you going for with hardcore? Just trying to be a hardcore character? Well, there was actually two combinations I'm going for. I achieved one, which was tactical, and it was this one right here. Awarded to agents that have taken the highest risk to acquire the greatest gear. And that's getting gear score 500 on hardcore. And I actually did that on the last character you just saw that died. And we were able to reach that, which took a little bit, but we did it. Now, we also made it to Warlords in New York and passed through there. And I was on my way to get ready for the level 40 raid when I ended up dying. As you guys saw, I was farming for raid builds. And what I'm really going for is the hardcore raid distinction. And this is awarded to the agents that have beaten the greatest foes. Now, complete dark hours raid with a hardcore agent on normal difficulty or above. You guys all know the raid only has one difficulty. It's a dark hours raid and it's the first raid. Now, I'm really trying to knock this out. You can see that we are gear score 223. We are in world tier one. And I just need to knock out all of the um all of these um strongholds and then finally hit title basin once we hit the world tier. So you know every time we hit one of these missions, we keep leveling up and then we'll get a stronghold. So what we'll do right now is since I need to knock one of these out, we're gonna head over to Airspace Museum and knock this one out right here. So now that we arrived at Airspace Museum, we're gonna knock this one out. This is part of one of the missions we need to do to unlock another stronghold. And now, a lot of you guys who don't know about hardcore, you might ask, well, what's the difference between hardcore and regular, right? Well, hardcore agents share nothing from your main character, share nothing at all. So what that means is your stash, you, have, you don't even have access to it. Now, there is one thing you do have access to if you really want to go that route. If you have anything in your the extra part of your stash box, like the message box area, well, that area you do have access to. So, you can access that. So, if you extract anything from the DZ on your main character, well, you do have access to that. But if you don't do anything like that, if you don't go in the DZ and you don't farm that, well, what that's going to mean is everything you unlock on this character will have to come from hardcore you share no shade levels you do get to share your uh, mods once you get to level 40 and you can share your materials but besides that nothing else is shareable and i find this as a challenge right like a lot of you guys might say well what's the point why would you even try this why would you put yourself through that you've died three times already well it's just to know that i have done it i've, I've I want to be able to say that I completed everything in a game that I cover, right? Like, I want to say that I was able to be the hardest difficulty on everything. I was able to take the hardest challenges, which is, I really think hardcore is probably one of the modes that is the hardest to do, right? Just for the fact that getting seven players together to beat the raid and be flawless with all that pressure that if you do die, you lose everything, right? Like, if you die on hardcore, you lose everything that you've worked hard for. And yeah, that's tough. 
that's really tough to swallow now my first two characters that i really didn't really bother me too much i think one um i tried right when the beta came out and my Re reviver hive glitched and it was right when we were having that issue with the reviver hive everybody was having that issue you know but now that i'm able to play hardcore i actually try it again and well the next time i died i was just being careless and i died at like level 20. so again my fault and then of course you guys saw how i died the third time which was again my fault like i was just pushing too far ahead and if you if you decide to play a little bit more aggressive if you decide to really push the enemy and you don't watch your surroundings things like that will happen and that's what I really think I enjoy the most about this. Right? Like, like, if you guys are watching this gameplay right here, I'm playing a little aggressive because I feel like my build is a little bit powerful right now. Um, I feel like I leveled up and I actually got some pieces that may be a little bit stronger than I should be. So fighting these guys, uh, even though it's only normal because I have to be normal on the first time I do it, um, I still think that it's pretty tough. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. And I plan on going back to New York City, right? Like, I plan to go back to New York City. I plan to be keener. I plan to um, start working on my raid builds again. Just waiting for this access network. And, and that's really the goal for me with this character. Um, is to get to New York City. And we get to level 40 so I can start farming those raid builds. And maybe once I'm all done, I'll maybe I'll focus on some System hunters. Curtailed. Maybe I'll go for the hunters too. But at for right now, I really just want to beat that raid and at least attempt it, right? Like get to the point where I'm able to to play the raid on a hardcore character and hopefully find seven other players that are really good too that can like you know obviously help me too in achieving my goal. So, I don't know. I want to know how, how many of you guys have actually tried hardcore. Like have you guys tried hardcore? Is it something you guys have tried? Something that you guys are interested in? Is it something you think that you might try now that you see me playing it? Remember, I've been leveling up. I've been playing this live. So my whole, my whole hardcore experience has been live on twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills. So if you guys want to catch me live streaming this, um, it's a great place to ask me questions. Great place to catch me playing this. I've been playing on Twitch. Yeah, that's where I am streaming. And I started streaming over there about two months ago, and we've been actually doing really good. So our viewer count's up, our sub count is up. Everything is actually really working really good over there. So I plan on streaming over there, separate videos, with streaming. So if you guys want to catch me live, if you guys want to interact with me, if you guys want to ask me questions, I always feel that's the best place to ask me questions. Sometimes it's really tough to ask questions on Twitch. Uh, sorry, on YouTube in the comments because sometimes we get a video that gets a lot of views. Sorry, and then a lot of comments. Doesn't it? it it's hard to like really filter out all the comments and then see what comments you've answered. And sometimes players already answer the questions for you. So if you guys really want to get that one-on-one, -on -one, well, one-on -one with whoever's watching. That's really gonna be the best place. Um, Twitch, I always think that I, I always think that streams are always the best place to interact with your favorite streamers or favorite YouTubers when they do stream because they have a chance to see those comments real time, and obviously they're gonna be able to answer those as they read chat and stuff like that. So if you guys really wanna get some answers, or you guys wanna talk, um, yeah, head over there. Let's keep knocking this out. We're gonna try to finish this mission. And see, hold on. Oh yeah, let's go finish this off and keep working on it. Um, just some tips if you guys are trying to do a hardcore character. Um, as soon as you guys can unlock the XP bonus, that's going to be a really big benefit to you um, for leveling up. And you get that pretty early on. You get the points to unlock that. Now, once you guys are able to get a chest piece talent, I always think Unbreakable is amazing. Really amazing for where's this guy at? Is he hiding? Oh, he's over. I always feel like Unbreakable is like my go to. So, all my hardcore characters, I like to go with the Reviver Hive and Unbreakable probably 95% of the time. It's just, I feel like it's a safety net. If I push too much, my, my, my chest piece can break Unbreakable proc and I'll get 95% of my armor. Um, my Reviver Hive is like really my safety net. If I make a mistake, 
If I don't heal up in time, if I don't pop a med kit, well, that's what um I feel like the Reviver Hive is for. But even when the Reviver Hive goes off, I always get kind of scared for the fact that they have that chance of breaking, right? So those are just some little tips on if you guys are thinking of getting into um, hardcore. I think it's really the biggest challenge you can do in the Division 2. And it, it really challenges yourself mentally and even it challenges you as a uh, Division 2 agent because it's, it's really hard to... Um, it's really hard to never die in a game, right? Like, I mean, especially if you're, if you're pushing forward, if you're if you're constantly um, playing aggressive, you're you're moving around. Like this dog right here, at any moment he could just one shot me. Like, he took almost all my armor, and, and that happens a lot. Sometimes you get shotgunners that push you. Sometimes you get some bigger bosses that push you. And at any moment you can make a mistake and die. And, detected. That's everything. You Sounds lose promising. everything. So, I mean, I find it as a challenge, and my goal really is to do that hardcore raid, at least attempt it. And the biggest thing is, I haven't raided in a long time. I really haven't. So, I'm a little worried. I'm really worried on how I'm going to do in the raid. I'm worried if I'm going to even be, be successful in the raid. I probably think, I think my goal is really going to be maybe um do a couple couple regular raids right and then um with the same team and then, then we could play we could play a couple hold on we gotta locate this real quick and then we can knock out the hardcore raid um right here locate signal and we're almost done with this mission damn it that's too bad let's grab this let's clear this out real quick that's what miles melting boys I know you guys are, are red, but that thing is still hitting. Ooh, baby. Security the final hall. Man, I'm Maybe you'll find a terminal there. Through here. I, I actually love fast rate of fire weapons. That's why I like the police M4 over the P416. And let's see what we can some find. Some of the slower ARs in the game. And the, the police M4 hits hard, but the FAMAS is still a beast. I remember when everybody used to work for the FAMAS all the time. In PvE and PvP. Check out the server just to be sure. Perfect. Yeah, I think uh, that's it. But yeah, like I said, it's just a challenge on doing it. Of uh, the fact that you have one life, and that's all you get. You can see that we are working on getting to World Tier Five. We're at World Tier One. So all I need to do is do this. Um, I already unlocked District Union. So once I do that, I'll be at Tier Two. I have one more mission, and then I'll unlock Capital Building. So I just gotta unlock Space Administration, and then of course. We have Roosevelt that put us at four. And then once we beat Tidal Basin, that will put us at five. So we were going to wrap up the video here, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, nothing but skills is out.